Hey guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to rig this character using parenting. We're not gonna use joints or bones on this character. Everything is going to be parented uh, using the parenting and creating hierarchies or chains. We're gonna be rigging this character and then you can animate him. So let me go ahead and stop this. And I am going to open the startup scene. I'm gonna hit A. Uh, this is a startup scene. One thing that I want you to look at is uh, everything here has been named appropriately. You have to be organized, otherwise you start to get very, very confused fast. This is a very, very simple character just created from spheres and cylinders. Everything is a, every joint is a sphere uh, and every body part is a cylinder, except for the hands uh, that was a pipe. You can go to Polygon Primitives and create a pipe. And the feet are just boxes. So again, everything right now is separate. Um, you can move any of these out of the way and you can see it's a very simple character. I'm going to undo those two uh, moves. Uh, the other thing that I want you to know is that I've frozen all the transformations. If you... I'm gonna create a simple box here. Uh, and I'm gonna hit F to um, fit in the screen. And I am going to go to face. And I'm going to extrude this face. I'm gonna extrude this. I'm gonna extrude this. And then I'm gonna extrude this. And now it's not the simple cube. It's just an object that I modeled. Uh, but I, if I open up the attribute editor, you can see that all these extrusions, a history is piled up on here. So we're gonna need to delete all that history. Uh, and I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type history. So that takes care of that, frees up some RAM. And the next thing I'd like to do is, if I go to the channel box, you see that I've moved this box. And even if I um, scale it, like this, like this, uh, you see the scale here and the move, and that's not good when you're parenting because when you parent something, it's gonna take effect this move, this scale. And so in the modify, you can freeze the transformations here. And what that does, it removes all of the transformations that you've done so far. So I'm gonna hit freeze transformations and everything goes back to zeros. And of course the scale is one. So this object has never been moved, has never been scaled. Plus, we deleted all the history, delete all the history, and it doesn't have any baggage. It doesn't have any baggage. It's just a simple cube, a simple object that has no history. So we can free up some RAM. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna delete this one. And I am going to select everything, go to edit, delete by type, history on everything, and then modify freeze transformations on everything. So anything I click on would be zeroed out. Even though I rotate it and scale this cylinder, it doesn't matter, everything has been zeroed out. Now we can get started. So again, the, the two things that you need to remember before you start parenting, is be organized, name all your objects, and freeze the transformations, delete the history on everything. Now we can go ahead and start uh, parenting. To start parenting, uh, I'm gonna start with the left arm. Let me zoom in on it right here. Remember that the parent, we're gonna select the child first, shift select the parent, and then hit the P key on the keyboard, P. Uh, and then when you click on the wrist, everything is selected, you know it worked, and you can rotate this arm. Not a big deal. So let's create another parent, the lower arm. I'm gonna hit Q to get rid of my uh, rotate tool, and Q, Q is just a selection tool. And shift click, first the child, and then the parent, hit P. Now this one is parented. Hit uh, E to rotate, and now you can rotate the elbow. 
select the upper arm, shift select the shoulder, hit P. So now you can see here in the outliner, we have three, one, two, three different chains. Right now they're not working together. If I rotate my shoulder, the upper arm goes with it, but not the rest of the arm. Um, likewise with the elbow, the lower arm goes with it, but not the hand. And so we have to tie all these together. I'm gonna undo that. There we go. And so now we have to select joint to joint, the wrist to the elbow, hit P, and then the elbow to the shoulder, and then hit P. Now we have one hierarchy. I'm gonna open this up so you can see it. We have one hierarchy. The shoulder is the parent for all the arm. There we go. And then the um, elbow, and then the wrist. And so now that's working. I'm gonna undo that and get it done in the right arm. Again, we start off, I'm gonna hit Q, start off with apparenting the, the body part with a joint, P, lower arm with a joint, P, upper arm with the joint, the shoulder, P, and then joint to joint, the wrist to the elbow, and then the elbow to the shoulder. P. And now that's one, one um, hierarchy and that's another chain. So let's do this for the legs. We start at the bottom, the, the foot to the ankle, hit P, the lower leg to the knee, hit P, the thigh to the hip, P, and then joint to joint, the ankle to the knee, hit the P, the knee to the hip, P. The foot to the ankle, P. The lower lower leg to the knee, P. The thigh to the hip, P. And then the ankle to the knee, P. And then the knee to the hip, P. So now we have uh, check this out, our list has gone down because now we have four different chains, four different hierarchies. We've got the left arm, the right arm, the left leg, and the right leg. Now we have to do this one. This one is also considered a chain. Um, it's not a limb, but it's a chain. We're going to go, the head is the tip, it's like the hand, to the neck, which is like the wrist. All the head to the neck, hit the P, and then the torso to the hips, hit the P. This one has only two, this one and this one. And so now we are going to do joint to joint. So the joint, the neck to the hip, hit P. That's it. Uh, now the, the this is considered a chain. So if I rotate it, the head goes with it. And uh, that's it. Now we have one, two, three, four, five different chains. We just have to combine them so that they can work together. So that when I rotate this thing, um, the arms would go with it. Okay, so we're going to parent the arms. I am going to uh, parent the shoulder to the hip. So select the child and then the parent, hit P. The child and then parent, hit P. Also the hip to the main hip. Shift click that, P. And then this left, uh, the right hip to the main hip, P. Now you can see that it's only one chain and everything is being parented uh, is underneath. So let's look at this uh, character, guys, and let's test out the parenting. And so right now, I'm just gonna test everything. I am going to pose him, and I am going to just test to see if everything went fine. At frame one, I am going to select everything and create a keyframe for everything. 
So I'm going to hit S to create a keyframe, S, and there it is. There's a keyframe on there. So everything has a keyframe on frame one. I'm going to create a pose on frame 10. And so I am going to turn on auto key. It's got to be red. And therefore, since everything already has a starting keyframe, that means that auto key will take effect as soon as I move it. And I'm going to rotate this joint down. And you can see automatically there's a keyframe. And so I'm going to push it back a little. And then the elbow, I'm going to push it forward. And the hand, I'm just going to rotate it right there. This one, I'm going to push it down. I'm going to push it back. The elbow, I'm going to bend it forward. And then the arm, the hand, I'm just going to rotate it right there. And so everything seems to be working. The leg, I'm going to uh, lift up his leg. Boom. Bend the knee. Right there, bend the knee. And extend the ankle. If this happens to you where you click on something and you can't click on it, just hit Q for the selection tool. And then you can select the ankle. And then you can go back, hit E to rotate. And so there's his leg. And so we've uh, created a pose. Oh, by the way, if you want to move the head, you can rotate the, the neck. Notice that we only rotate the joints. That's what we're keying, the joints. You never try to rotate uh, the body parts because it's going to mess up on you. Only rotate uh, and key the joints. So we've put him in a pose right here where he's looking over here and he's taking a step. And so there he is. Boom. And you can now start to animate. In the next video, we'll have him take a step and uh, start animating. This is as simple as this, guys. You don't have to use the joints. Um, you can just you know, model it very simply, parent it just like I did. It took us 10 minutes and then start animating. Hey guys, in the next video, we're going to animate this, have them take a step. We'll use the grease pencil to mark some of the stuff and then we'll uh, go ahead and animate it. Hey guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.